Who did Sarah play the first game? Uh, I believe we casted Sarah versus Scan in week one, but I don't know. Uh, oh, you're asking about like the first game in this tournament? I have no idea. Yeah. I have no absolutely idea. no idea. That's okay. So we're going to get right into this game right here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have Sarah as the Purple Terran in the top right, and we're going to have Lancer X as the Brown Protoss at the 9 o'clock on the left side of the map. Very stabbing center. Indeed. indeed. All right. Talk cross. So the map is completely very flat, so it's not really. It's very hard for either players to take advantage of any high ground because there isn't any high grounds. But there's a lot of bridges there, so if you do, like set up a good choke points, or good contains onto bridges, it's very easy to control your opponent's movement that way. Yep. So it's going to be interesting to see what other players' build, build orders are going to be. It's been a while since we've seen any Lancer X game, so I'm, I don't really have a good memory or recollection of what he does like to do against Terrans, unfortunately. Yeah, I to be honest, I, f I don't actually know too much about his thought either, even though I feel like I've casted a ton of his games, because obviously he's been around the scene for a long time, and he just grinds a million games. So, uh, so I mean, he's pretty good. He's like an A-minus level Protoss, but as yep. you say, I don't really... I, I do vaguely recall him having some, like, builds that seem fairly suboptimal, just from, like, a theoretical... You know, just from, like, a... Comparing this to the Korean build, it's definitely wrong. But, you know, you're an A- minus it off, so we'll let it slide kind of thing. Yeah. <clears throat> if it works for him, then... It works for him. So we're and, actually going to see Sarah actually wall off his natural here with the uh, barracks. Yeah, Bloody I'm both. being told by the production crew that uh, Sarah actually beat Protoss GG in the previous round. I have no idea who that is. Yep, me neither. Me neither. So I think Phil so actually might be posing to go for a, a Barracks Command Center build. Go for the fast expansion here. We're going to see Lancer X take his uh, gateway and his simulator. This is a very curious wall at the front. <clears throat> I mean, it's kind of anti Zilla, but it doesn't, it doesn't really wall it off. So like, a Zilla could just run past into the main base, in which case this wall would be a huge liability because it's so far away from the SCB line. Mm -hmm. I'm actually not a huge fan of this wall. Um, mm. At all. I think more of like an anti dragoon wall. <laughs> Just read those uh, those sick dragoon run by plays. No, but it's because the thing with bots is that dragoons can only come in one at a time, right? So if you have like a tank right next to the uh, natural. Oh, that's fair the, enough, natural, yeah. Uh, mineral line. Yeah. It's going to be very hard for those dragoons to get in to target that tank. So just in case. Does. Just in case Pros does like a 10-15 gate or any other kind of aggressive goon build, you basically funnel right. it in. Yeah, that, that definitely makes sense. Nice, yeah. So we're actually going to... So I'm we're actually going to see Sarah actually going to go for... He gets his refinery done. He's going to take his factory at the same time. So we're not actually going to see that barracks expand coming out. Which would be really nice for, for us to see. Sure, so Marines are out right now. Going to kill that probe. Nope. Probe's going to live another day. He's running. He's running like the wind. Apparently, Protoss GG equals Sugo Pain, if that helps at all. That does actually help. Oh, that's Sugo? Like that. Okay. Yeah. Sugo's a pretty good player. Yeah, nice. Like a C plus, B minus player. It's like, uh, got goons with some goon range. Got an SCV gonna run past the goon. Nice. Wow, the goon doesn't even actually see it. Oh, no, wait. Okay, somehow it actually does see it, I guess with the lingering vision. But it's not gonna be able to stop it from scouting the main base. Nope. And he's gonna see nothing. Oh my god, it's Proxy Robo. It's Proxy Reavers. <laughs> oh god, Cerro. The cheese. The cheese! No, it could be even Bulldog. That'd be funnier. It could be. It could be. It could be. He could even, he could just like, do a Reaver, uh, do a Reaver drop to kill as many SCVs as possible, and when the Reaver dies, just turn it into a Bulldog. That'd be pretty funny. Or even better. Make a Reaver and his shuttle, but have the Reaver walk across the map to the front of the natural, and then Bulldog at the same time. Yeah, or just, you know, just like drop probes in the mineral line in the main. <laughs> just distraction probes while your Reaver walks up the front. The probe rush. Exactly. So Terrans sometimes do that in late game TVT, don't they? They just like drop SEVs on tanks. I don't know. I've definitely seen that before. I mean, right. I've seen Terrans pull SCVs from the, the repair tanks in TBT, but that's standard. Oh man, uh, Sarah forgot to put guys back on gas. He's still mining one on gas, even though the uh, command center is already almost done. I don't think. Well, I, I think, think I think that's actually deliberate though, because he wants to get as much minerals as he can. Okay. 
I, I don't actually know exactly like when you're supposed to put them back, but if, it feels like you should by now, no? I feel so as well, but generally speaking, you put you pull two guys off gas when you first make your factory, and then once you get the machine shop, oh. you put them back on. The anti-dragoon wall has no more barracks, therefore it is no longer an anti-dragoon wall, but there are two tanks now, so it should be fine. Yep. And Siege just, just finished right now, so so it's going to be Siege, it should be fine. He actually does an engineering bay out. So we're actually going to see a shuttle with them in the reverse would be start producing right now. Interestingly, he's uh, still only making Dragoons. He didn't bother to make like two Zealots to put in the shuttle. Oh, because he's going to Elevator. Oh my god, he's going to Elevator into the, the back bulldog. of the main. It's the reverse the Bulldog. He's Bulldogging from the inside out. <laughs> <laughs> it's the inside out Bulldog. Oh my god. Happening. Oh man. Oh, uh, apparently someone in chat was asking what exactly is a bulldog. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, it's it's basically it's kind of like an all-in attack from Protoss where he builds a shuttle, puts four zealots in, and then just like runs into the front with a whole bunch of dragoons and lands zealots on top of your siege tanks and just kills you. Uh, G5 was very well known for doing this strategy a lot. And looks oh, like actually he's not waiting for the reaper. He's just running into the main mineral line. I need to wait for the Reavers right now, because there's no units to defend against. They only, they only have three tanks, no Marines. Yep, gonna do some nice Dragoon Micro here. There is the Reaver coming in now. Gonna be big trouble. There are three Sea Shanks here, but against four Dragoons and a Reaver, it's all gonna come down to the Micro. The SCVs are doing a lot. Why is the Reaver not dropping? The Reaver finally dropping. Uh, Does get a Scarab off. One tank falls, but the Dragoons are falling as well. Looks like another tank is gonna fall. Only one Dragoon left, and the Reaver actually has been severely damaged right now, and no SCVs, it seems, aside from the initial ones killed by the Dragoons have fallen, still need a good scarab shot. The SCVs are running. There's no anti-air, no Marines, only a single turret at the front of the natural. The, the shuttle can easily go behind the natural here to take down these SCVs. However, being a little bit indecisive with the Reaver right now, it's actually going to get... Is that a dud? Oh, no, not a dud. <laughs> that would be the most ridiculous dud ever. <laughs> oh my god. Mm, I feel like Lance Rex should have definitely done more damage with his attack. Though. He does get two tanks down, but he didn't get any SAVs down, which is actually the most important part about doing a Reaver attack is destroying your opponent's economy. Yes, indeed. And he failed. Well, he can still try to uh, take a couple more pot shots here, but see my terror. Sarah's already started to establish a turret. Oh, right the tanks are clumped. One scout will get both of them. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Very nice coming in there for Lancer. Actually, he's gonna lose that reaver, but just just killing those two tanks is very huge. Yeah. Sero has nothing to defend against this one dragoon. And he has oh, another reaver built. Oh, oh. The SCV you know, almost new one reaver right now out. The SCV is almost one the SCV almost won't be once the dragoon. But it looks <laughs> like uh not quite gonna happen. Wow, there's still no turrets like actually in the main mineral line. They're all on the edge. That's actually really dangerous. Hmm. Oh, Reaver, Reaver. Need to suffer. Lift that Reaver. Okay. That Reaver's going to survive with one hit love. And that uh, you're finally going to go down. Yeah, so uh, really nice defense by Sarah, actually, to not lose too many SCVs. Although, of course, there's still a Reaver here, but it's quite low health. It's going to be difficult for it to do anything yet. Nice focus on there on the Reaver. Takes that down straight away. And Cero mm -hmm. is uh, is safe, but we do have a natural expansion already up for Lancer X as well. He also has a supply lead at 62 to 44. Right. And it looks like we're going to see Lancer X still trying to keep fishing, which is fine for him because Cero has no way to move out of his own base. So this is perfectly fine for him. But I'd like to see actually Lancer X be very greedy and take his third right now. Ooh, that's a very good idea, actually. That's, that's like a Stork-esque play to just go Reavers and just double expand super fast. Yeah. Because here's the thing for Cyril. Cyril actually, oh my goodness, is Cyril actually gonna go bio? He's building two more barracks, three more barracks what? right now. What? What? Why? Why would you go barracks when the other guy already has reavers? Oh reavers God. are like, it's like it's like you go bio hoping that your opponent didn't go reavers, but knowing that your opponent went reavers and then going bio. I don't know if Sarah just has like balls of steel or he's just balls in of steel. Or Sarah was a very smart player. Oh cool my god! I think he's just there. crazy. I, I I'm not buying it, man. This is just this is just batshit crazy, man. <laughs> this is like. No, the worst oh part is, is that if uh, Lancer scouts it with that shuttle, it's gonna be game over from there. Because 
If the thing coming up for Lancer X, though, Lancer X is going to have his third coming up right now, but he can just uh, start mass producing Reavers. He sees this coming. Yeah, but he, he because because actually there's a really nice line of turrets all along the base, it's going to actually be difficult for an observer to even get in. I don't know right. if it will be able to actually sneak along the high ground behind the natural to get in. Oh, you won't. Okay, there's still a tur two turrets there. Turrets next to the gas here. They, the they don't have vision on the high ground, do they? Or does it not matter? I, I always get confused by these cliffs, because sometimes you can actually see sort of up the high ground a little bit. I don't mm -hmm. actually know if the turrets will shoot it. Maybe they will. No, it won't. This is very interesting going into the Serral here. Wow. Wait a minute. Doesn't isn't Deep Six supposed to have two factories? Because I was gonna about, I was gonna say this is a Deep Six because it's got six barracks, but I thought you're supposed to have two factory tank with that with the Deep Six. It's like it's a, fine to have one one factory. Is it? I, I have no idea. So we'll we'll just go ahead and say this is Deep Six or some variation of it well, against it would, it would Reavers. Be deep Six if we saw uh, Lancer X go for carriers, but since Lancer X is actually not making any carriers or target tech, I think it's just like gonna be a very strange battle play. You still could call it Deep Six. Oh, deep six. he's going back. out. He's going out! Oh my god, I wish I wish we actually were like the Korean stream, we had we had like face cams for the player reactions. He should stim and grab the shot! Oh! oh! 3 HP, he's still running for it! Oh my god, he gets it! The range! The range on the range actually snaps that shoulder right there. Oh my goodness. And the Lancer X has no idea what just hit him. <laughs> oh my god. The wow. shuttle. And the actually five seats, that's actually going to be completely huge. And the best part about this is that Marines have such high DPS when stim, is that it's going to be very hard for Lancer to actually, actually engage any uh, siege tanks. Yeah. Their siege I mean, against pure Zealot Dragoons, stim Marines are actually awesome. The only reason bio is not common in TVP is because storms and reavers destroy them. But the problem is also, the fact that the Robo is proxied means he can't even build any reavers defensively. Wait a minute, where is Sarah going? Does he not know where the spawn location is? No, I think he's trying to catch some of uh, Lancer X reinforcements pop. Oh, he's trying to get. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, he's going up the left side. Okay, is he? Oh, uh, oh. Uh, Did he just? Oh no, he didn't. Okay, I thought he just shot his own siege tank. No. Nah. Like, <laughs> really silly. Uh, but you're right about the uh, the fact that about the offensive or back facility. Lancer X not building any reavers. He can't. And yep. we're actually we're actually going to see Lancer X go down the top of our archives immediately, trying to get the storm out. That'd be the best way to defend against this, since the Reavers are not an option anymore. Wow, Lancer X actually just sent his entire Dragoon army to counterattack here. He cut off a whole bunch of reinforcements, but there's no way he can deal with this huge Medic Marine Sanjay army. There's a lot of Zealots there, but the DPS from the Stim Medic Marine and the Zealots in a choke point! They're fighting in a choke point! Oh my goodness, I think it's going to be game here coming out from So oh This attack is something way God. too strong. He, and this did better, Sarah so actually have plus one armor on his Marines. Oh wow, interesting stuff. Oh, Dragoon's coming in from the backside, but now the Siege Tank's using the natural position against them. They're trying to run in here. Zelso from the flank! The flank attack could be good here! Actually, it looks like Lancer X with the epic Zealot flank cleans up the attack. He's going to lose a lot of the probes in his natural, though. Um, but the Marines are still staying very alive thanks to the healing from the medics there. And oh my armor. god. Oh my goodness. What's well, even? Oh my goodness! We're actually going to see Lancer X loses the uh, box facility right now, so he actually has no observers, nor reavers. He want to come out. We're going to see a three kill SCV. Look! Look at this manly SCV. He's going to get four kills. Look! Hold on! Wait! Wait! wait. Look! <laughs> look at this guy! Look! Look! Four, four kill, kill SCV. All right. This SCV was the MVP of that entire attack. Oh, hold that thought. A lot of Marines, they did stand, but they have no medics. GTs are not out. There's no scan. Where's the scan? The splash damage, though, from the Siege Tanks might kill them. Oh, there, finally, is the scan. Very nice scan coming out from Sarah right there. And the worst part about it is that Lancer X never started his storm research. He has to top our archives up, and no high tempers coming out, nor storm. So he actually yeah. has, he can't even defend against this. Oh, he my God. Good. Lancer X, he doesn't know what to do anymore. He's so terrified of the four kill SCV. He's running in, he's gonna grab another leading siege tank, but he's gonna retreat. He can actually fight this now, though. There's not enough units here. Mm. Wow, this is so close. Holy moly. Oh my god, but Lancer X is not mining from the main from the natural or the third. And his main has like ten probes mining. He's got no probes. He lost all those probes. He's got like six yeah. idle probes at his third. I mean Lancer X only Yeah, that's not good. So he's gonna start taking a very uh, aggressive container. Let me see Lancer pushing him with these elves right now. Oh, they're just gonna melt. 
Dude, he's on uh, rain. Wow. Sarah, oh my god. The plays. My the mind is just games. blown right now. I don't even know what's real life anymore. Dude, you know, he's like up magic, man. Up magic did this too. Up magic was like, what? You want to make a reaver against my marines? No, 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 no. No, let me show you about marines and reavers. It's killed <laughs> everything. It's the greatest thing ever. You know, the best part of Bothos is that Sail doesn't even need to expand because Marines and Menace are so cheap. They yeah. Stay on two bases for a very long time before you even have to. If you, if you look at his natural, his SCV count actually sucks. Like, his saturation sucks, but it doesn't even matter. Right. I mean, yeah, you know, to, to be fair, this build is uh, basically a two base all in anyway. It's not like you're supposed to expand after this. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. Trying to go late game bio? That'd be fun to watch. <laughs> I mean, Lancer X still has yet to start a storm research. I mean, I'm just looking over his Templar archives, still no storm research he's, going on. He's making High Templar though. There's one High Templar in the gateway. I don't know, one of them just came out. Is he just gonna make Archons? Maybe? He doesn't have it already, does he? Hmm. If he has storm, that could actually uh, change the tide of the battle. If he forgot to get it, that would be hilarious. I'm just, I'm just waiting for the fight to start. He didn't oh, get it! He just started it! You were right! Oh my god, he forgot! He built High Templars and he forgot the storm. Well, the good thing, well, the good thing for Lance Rex there is that he let those High Templars build up energy. But he needs to survive until that happens, though. Yeah, I don't think he is. The attack's coming, it's not gonna finish. Oh my god, this is so crucial. Oh my god, he's gonna counterattack. This is not good. Sales notices right now, he's actually gonna pull his reinforcement back to his natural defense here. And Sales actually gonna expand to his third right now. <sighs> But wow, he's running in. Storm is halfway done. Damage. He needs to win the decisive engagement. Oh, I thought we need to My timer goes down. That's not good. Wow, the Marines take out the probe line as well. Storm is still not finished. <laughs> There's actually a third command center floating down now as well. Oh my god, he's building a hidden nexus at the left side. Hmm. Well, natural nexus falls. And there's three high Templars with the with Lance Rex engaged units in the middle of the map here. Sarah must be so confused why Lance Rex isn't attacking. He doesn't realize it's because Storm didn't finish. All right, looks like uh, Lance Rex is gonna go now. Storm's gonna finish. All right, Storm just finished right now. Lance Rex is actually gonna be splat capped right now. Uh, I'm talking, that's a very nice spread coming in for Sarah here. Very nice Marine spread These here. These Templars so have a lot of energy. Uh, uh, Where storm. the Storm? Storm. Oh, storm. Okay. That was an okay storm on that one tank there, but where's the third storm? Storm storm coming out. That's very nice. Four storm coming in. And that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Use storms to crowd out your opponent's marine medic force. But and now he's dead. That Cyril's actually going to push him to the main base here, Lance Rex. Lance Rex has nothing. He has one high Templar, three solids, and probes. Yeah, these are 1-1 one, one marines as well. They are just shredding everything. Holy moly. Well, there's a the big counterattack. And Lancer X is now officially dead. Okay, maybe not officially, but he's dead. Fancy GG timing coming out. GG! Uh, Sarah! What? Oh, the wall bio play. What? Against a proxy reaper. <laughs> Build. <laughs> Sarah's you just gotta be so manly to pull that off. Sarah's like, oh, oh, he went a reaper build. Let's see, what's. what's bad against reavers let me let me just do that you know what i'll just do that that build yes that's the one <laughs> holy moly man i think it's interesting lancer x's uh reaver harass i think i mean if we think back to the game right his reaver harass did zero economic damage aside from making scvs run around a bit like he didn't actually kill any notable number of scvs mm -hmm. uh so even though he kept the tank count low you know it's just I don't know, like he, I don't think he did enough damage to, to justify the proxy. Uh, right. Especially since it kind of screwed him later on, since he couldn't actually make any more reavers. Also, obviously, losing that shuttle, the, the first shuttle, or not the first shuttle, but the shuttle to the, when the Stim Marines first came out was basically game-changing. If he'd actually been paying attention, I think he could have just dropped the reaver at least to get a couple of shots off first. Right. So. You know, I, I was thinking that what Slancer was going to do was actually going to use his uh, inside-out bulldog to drop some of uh, <laughs> some. Dragoons inside of Cyril's main base, yeah. causing Cyril to overreact and pull all of his units away from the natural. 
and then uh, use the Reaver to attack the natural. Yes, that that's, that also would have possibly been a, a very. That, that's a, that's what I would assume would be the game plan for Lancer X there. Yeah. Because that natural is completely open. Yeah. Besides, yeah, like, yeah. maybe like one tank or something. Yeah. Maybe like one marine at most. No, yeah, that that also would definitely have uh, been a good idea. Well, with that, um, I am uh, or I posted up the the next replay. All righty. Uh,